luxury cars. I'm Harry, and on this edition of the Friday Drive, I fit this, our 2019 facelift, Mercedes AMG GT-R. The most hardcore AMG GT before you head to the likes of the Black Series and GT3 range. The GT-R features the usual four liter twin turbo V8, pumping out 430 kilowatts of power, 700 newton meters of torque from just 1900 RPM, which comes together through the seven speed double clutch gearbox to move this hardcore supercar to 100 in just 3.6 seconds. The AMG GTR means business. The cabin is all enveloping and it feels a bit like a fighter jet or an F1 car. Well, I reckon maybe. I have Alcantara seats and steering wheel buttons which make the car do a whole variety of different things. It makes it louder and scarier and makes spoilers go up and down in the front of course and makes suspension harder and softer depending on what mood I'm in. And as well as that I've got the digital dash, the update digital dash, the new infotainment system with your Mercedes me type arrangement, a Burmester sound system, heated and multi-adjustable lumbar support sports seats. And as well as that, you've got the new Mercedes-Benz steering wheel, which moves away from 30 years of typical Mercedes ergonomics. I'm still trying to get my head around and get used to it, but in due course, I imagine I will. And the other benefit of this steering wheel is it means that you never have to take your hands off the wheel itself, unless you're like me and you like to push the loud button down here. The AMG GT is a very different experience to a Porsche 911 or Ferrari 488. It is far more brutal, it is louder, more in your face, more aggressive, and with the front mid-mount setup, a far more traditional and familiar setup to someone who isn't as experienced as others who only are now just dabbling in supercars. Though on first impressions, this car seemed pretty scary. Though the reality is, it's just a Mercedes. When you flick it into comfort mode down here, it just dawdles and burbles along like anything else. And because it's a Mercedes, I've got climate control and all the usual Mercedes comfort features. It feels, apart from the fact that the cabin's very sporty and you can see this great big long bonnet, it feels fairly typical. And other sort of normal features are of course the radar guided cruise control, Mercedes infotainment system, which I've already mentioned, and a 360 parking camera with park distance control, of course. And then once you've looked past all the usual Mercedes features, you notice a couple of little interesting details, like this little yellow knob down here, which interestingly enough, controls how much traction control you want. So if I go down here, if you look down here with me, where is it? Um, Where's the traction? There it is. Hold down the traction control button and it switches off. And you'll see here, I can adjust how much traction control I want. So I can have a little bit of traction control, a little bit less, a little bit less again, a lot less, and, and then we go one more and we've got very scary mode. And since it's illegal to do burnouts and all of that, I think we might just switch off as tempting as it is. Push a few buttons and twist a few knobs, you'll make this car very angry. Race mode, traction control, turn down to zero, it becomes a tire eating, corner destroying monster. Keep it on the straight and narrow on public roads becomes a task, and you soon realise the potential that was barely hidden when we first set off. Like I say over and over again, I lament the fact that we take these cars out and never really explore their full potential. One day I hope we're able to take one of these cars out of track and I can impress you with my unbelievable driving skills. Sideways action, here we go. But anyway, since we're on the road, we can only take the opportunities that are only legal and, you know, present themselves from time to time. Like now, for instance. And with carbon fibre roof, carbon ceramic brakes, factory track pack, AMG Dynamic Plus package, blind spot assist, Burmester sound system, keyless go, active underbody fairing, adjustable coilover suspension, extended Mercedes-Benz new car warranty and fixed rear spoiler, the list of extras and options on this car is endless. So if you're in the market for one of the wildest Mercedes on the planet, I'm afraid you're too late because this unbelievable, as new example has sold and is in the garage of its new owner now. And if you have a classic or supercar in pristine condition and are looking to sell today, get in touch with us now for an on-the-spot appraisal and instant settlement. We'll see you next week. <laughs>